Hi friends, in this short video, I will show you how to do a perfect cup of coffee. So I love coffee, I'm sure many of you like coffee too, right? So how do you brew the coffee? So before that, I would like to tell you what's wrong with instant coffee. If you look carefully, the small, you know, the letters behind instant coffee, uh, you know, the, the sachet or the brew or Nescafe tin, you can see that it contains a lot of uh, you know the nature identical flavors these are nothing but synthetic chemicals so would you like to buy the so-called coffee which is nothing but a fake coffee by an exorbitant money or rather would you like to go with the pure coffee as you know we have very interesting coffee chain called CCD in India but unfortunately CCD have already closed up we are we are left with only barista they do serve very good coffee and traditionally in India we used to get really good coffee only in Madras, you know, the Madras filter coffee is very, very nice. So now my method is not really Madras filter coffee, but because I, I rather like to drink the black coffee rather than adding a lot of milk and sugar in it. So for black coffee, the two good methods around the world is, of course, one is stout top espresso coffee. The other one is French press. These two are quite good. So first I'll show you how to make in the stout top espresso. So we start with the real coffee beans. So these are the, as you can smell it, it's very nice aroma. These are very nice pure coffee beans, Robusta beans, which have been roasted gently. And I sourced it from Germany. You know, as you can see that this is an Italian espresso I bought in my last trip to Germany. But you can also get these kinds of beans from Kurg, uh, plantations in Karnataka as well as in uh, Wayanad. If you have some friends, you can get the green coffee beans and you can sun dry and you can roast it gently on the stove top. But you have to be very careful not to burn it. So once you have the roasted beans, all you have to do is that, you know, well, this is also a very nice machine. Uh, this is nothing but a grinder. So this is uh, all you have to do is a little bit of coffee you can put inside the grinder and you can grind it. You know, this is having two parts as you can see, this is just empty and here there is an intensity setting or rather the coarseness setting. So if I turn it clockwise, it gets finer and if I turn it counterclockwise, it gets uh, coarser. So it depends on what kind of method you use. Like for example, for the French press, you use coarser while for the espresso you use finer. So I set it on a finer side right now for showing you that and then just close this grinder so by the way why you want this grinder why not the normal mixer grinder of course you can do that just put this inside the mixer grinder and just do it so that's the two things one is that you know the pressure or the pressure you get when you grind it you know it's more or less something like a meditation you know you are so much into that usually coffee aficionado like it uh, you know the power coming directly from your hands rather than trusting on a machine another more important reason is that if you grind it using uh, you know in a bulk so the coffee uh, you know the uh, blended coffee or uh, the coffee powder as much as it get exposed to the air it gets oxidized so of you know mixing with oxygen is called oxidization so oxidization of the coffee beans will render it effectively tasteless or you know blank so it's not a good idea to you know to grind a lot of beans at one go so the best option is little bit you put in it so i'm putting maybe around the uh, you know 20 beans you know for a little bit yes around 20 beans you put so i close it so this hand grinder will ensure that this one uh, you know, this is not really for a long time, so you know, it, there won't be much of the oxidization happening. So, I just have to close this because again, this bean I suggest you to put that in a uh, you know, in a uh, pouch or airtight pouch or airtight bag so so that it won't get oxidized. But the beans, there won't be much issue. But once you grind it, it becomes a lot big issue because as you know, the surface area get exposed to the air and oxidization happens much more frequently. So once you have this one, all you have to do is to grind it. So just move it like this. The hand grinder will take quite some time to 
it's not as easy as you grind it in a mixer grinder. So as you can see that the powder is already started coming on you know the see through uh, the window. So just have to grind it quite nicely. So when I'm grinding, I'm just concentrating on this grinding motion. So it is something like inhale and exhale in a meditation that you do. So it is so much pleasure giving or so much happiness in using uh, meditation. You know, something called mindful meditation. So it's really nice. So once you grind it, the moment you will get no pressure at all. So the friction start getting nil. And as you can see, there is a little bit more beans left, so you just have to that. So once the pressure becomes nil, or rather the resistance becomes nil, so that means it's time to start. Yeah, now I can see that there is not much resistance. Yes. It's, it's freely moving. So that means all beans have already been covered. So once I have this, I just put some tap and carefully open it. As you can see, all of the grind beans here. So I'll show you the difference. As you can see, these are the real coffee beans, and while this is the ground beans. So once you have this kind of ground, as I can I tell you once again, this is a finely ground. So the coarseness setting you have to do this one. Coarse and fine. So once you have the finely ground, this is another reason the normal Mixer grinder don't have that setting, they just grind it usually into very very fine powder. So fine powder like this have to be more careful because it gets it has got lots of surface area, so the oxidation is much more faster. So you have to be very careful. I suggest you do not uh, store it at all, just use it after grinding. So you will get the best coffee. Uh, you know, something like the, the CCD. Or Starbucks coffee, we get it just like this. So now for the espresso coffee, you need an espresso coffee maker. This is called Stout Top Espresso Coffee Maker, which has got three parts. So I just remove this one here. So the three part is that the first part is water, another is something like a funnel-shaped filter, and the third one is the real filtering happen here. So because this is actually passed through, this first is this water you pour in and the water start boiling and the steam comes through this uh, filter that contains the coffee beans and finally it passes through this and then as you can see here there, there's a hole you know and the steam mixed with water start pouring in so finally you are going to get the coffee here so first step for using this kind of machine is pouring nice cup of coffee not coffee water so just pour the water you don't have to measure it just pour Till the not really the top, a little bit below the top. As you can see, this is the uh, you know, up to here. I poured it right. So, once I pour it, second step is just put this funnel on the top of this. I put the funnel in. Third step is very simple what are the beans that we ground, just put on the top of this. That's it. Now I don't have to press it. Usually the Italian bar coffee, they do press it with the, the weight. That is not recommended for this method. So it's just, just sim simply level it nicely. So as you can see that this is now leveled coffee, very beautifully leveled. And finally, all you have to do is this is just empty, you know, they just close it nicely. I suggest you make it a little bit more, you know tighter press so once you do that just you know put that on the stove start off i'll show you now come in so all i have to do is to put this on to the top of the burner so it is going well so you don't have to increase it now as you know this is simply wasting your resources just just be like this and let it uh, heat it for maybe a couple of times a couple of minutes so perhaps like three four minutes then you will start getting a sound from the top 
glug, 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 that sound then the time to stop it so that that is what you have to do it so by the way as you can see my kitchen i have neatly arranged my uh, stuff like this if you have a small kitchen like mine i suggest you to put like this and even you can make some marking to make sure that big big containers go on the on the wall uh, nicely arranged so yeah so let's wait for this to come up so by the way i can also show you this is another interesting uh, vase which i made this is can you guess what it is this is nothing but i live in punjab so in punjab we get verka milk so this is the milk uh, you know the refrigerated uh, flavored milk of the verka that is the bottle which i painted with uh, the uh, you know the white paint the metallic white paint to make a nice looking vase so this is also quite handy and this is also you know this one is uh, you know the uh, brush with uh, oil so it's oil containing brush so the oil actually goes up here and then you can apply this onto your uh, frying pan so I usually use very less oil so this is really nice you can just spread it so these are some minor hacks uh, in my house so this is also quite nice I like uh, because you now I can actually twist it this is this also saves a lot of space uh, the spice container rack so also you can also uh, convert your corners with this kind of corner thing so as you can see the sound has already come so I'm just closing it now and let it go on for a couple of seconds so if if I open it gently you can see what is happening so as you can see that the coffee has already come out so now I have to pour that into a coffee this this kind of coffee uh, containing espresso marks is really nice espresso tasse in German so this are uh, this is called double wall so of course you don't really need this kind of thing but I like this very much so I just pour this into this and enjoy a fresh cup of coffee cheers as you can see the two kinds of coffee one is really fine coffee this is coarser coarser is good for the french press method which i'm going to show you the finer one which we just uh, ground with this this is really good for the finer coffee for the espresso which i've just shown you that so we'll start with this coarser one as you can see the coarser coffee you can store it in a nice coffee uh, airtight coffee bag this is also a nice jar this is totally airtight so to start it all you have to do is you know just measure five gram per uh, you know one cup so one cup is basically 300 ml so five gram for per cup it is five gram so it's basically this teaspoon full so as you can see that it's you know if you are accustomed to the uh, the fake coffee that is nothing but the uh, brew or nescafe uh, instant coffee it is very very less so this is pretty high in comparison with that so this is the real coffee so that is why there is no added flavor in this one so just put this into the uh, french press and once you do this then just close this one so make sure that once you grind it so don't tilt it too much because it actually oxidizes. so that is also a good trick so very nicely pour it and be very careful while putting it back to your uh, shelf so if you tilt it if you mix it so what happened that this uh, you know these uh, ground uh, beans the coffee powder get mixed with air and get oxidized so you have to be very careful you don't have to refrigerate it and uh, uh, expert recommend do not re refrigerate against it because the moisture content spoils uh, the coffee so the best option is the, to grind as little as possible in one go from starting from the beans rather than buying the ground beans. So once you have it, all you have to do is to pour the 300 ml of the boiling water, the hot boiling water onto it and close it. So let's do that. As we have seen, the first step is to put the water for the boiling. So we'll just see that this is exactly 300 milliliter of the water. This is fresh water. So the water quality matters a lot for the coffee, be it espresso or French press. So I usually use my RO water for this, uh, deionized water. So I just pour this 300. By the way, this is also very handy. This one is Quechua 
I got it through the Decathlon. This is a stainless steel and this you can directly put under the uh, the stove and this the handle can also be twisted to you know to, to save the space while taking for the camping. So it's a very nice camping uh, you know mug come boiler. So as you can see that inside also there is uh, gradations for the ml how much ml is that so it's just 300 ml. So pour 300 ml into it as you can see it's exactly 300 ml and then put this for the boiling so it's going to take some time so this is boiling by the way you might wonder why I'm boiling this instead of using a standard electric kettle uh, like this you know this is a very nice kettle so the one reason is that this kettle takes hell lot of power so if you are concerned with the uh, environment friendly lifestyle so I advise against it instead you can go with this kind of uh, you know the, the LPG uh, this is much more uh, takes up less uh, energy so it is a lot more energy efficient and also instead of going with this kind of saucepan for such a very small uh, you know the quantity of water like 300 ml so this takes a lot of energy to heat up the whole stuff so instead of that you can simply use this sort of uh, steel or aluminium this has got extremely high uh, heat conductivity so it is a lot more easier for to get a, uh, a very a hot cup of uh, boiling water in this so as you can see that it has started boiling now let's wait for a couple of seconds yes it's boiling now and another thing is that you have to be very careful that the container is really really uh, dry while taking uh, putting the coffee in it otherwise the coffee beans get mixed up with the water already containing water and it turns out stale so this is now boiling so let's close it and let's pour this is pretty hot here so be be very careful while bringing this up so i can just use one uh, towel to hold this and pour it gently over As you can see that this is measuring exactly 300 ml so it is a little bit less so it is perfectly fine so I have to do after what I have to do is just to close it so we we'll close this nicely so just give like one centimeter space in between and just gently mix it and start your timer in your watch so the timer has already started the countdown so the countdown timer is very handy because uh, you know that that actually let you when to stop it and when to press this uh, French press down and So in between this watch is also quite nice because it's really really uh, uh, Energy efficient you don't have to change the batteries. It will last for a lifetime uh, Because it gets charged by the solar light, you know, and is it nine minute? Uh, fix it for every kind of French press not exactly so it depends on the strength of the coffee that you like if you, do, if you don't like that uh, super strong coffee, then you don't go with 12 minutes. So 9 minutes is kind of medium high. So if you go with like 6 minutes, it's kind of mild. So it all depends upon your taste. So you have to do a bit of experimentation to find uh, the time that you like. It also depends upon the, the, the strength of the, the coffee beans as well as how, how finely grind the beans are. So let us wait till the timer beeps and all. Uh, all you have to do is to press this down and pour it and enjoy a nice cup of coffee. So as you can see that it's almost 9 minutes. Yes, the beeping started. So it's time to press down. So just gently press it down all the way down. And the one thing which I didn't tell you is that there is, as you can see that there is hole. So the hole should be off while brewing while after brewing after pressing down this hole should be aligned to the exit hole so this is the exit hole so the reason is that otherwise this uh, you know the heat evaporates through the hole out so that the coffee becomes pretty cold so this is pretty hot coffee now because i actually tilted this way so now to pour it down i have to align this horse into the exit hole and just pour it nicely perfect 
perfect so this is a perfect cup of coffee now let's relish this coffee all right next step is of course to clean up the mess of course you have the coffee you know the leftover coffee in both the methods so how do you clean up if you live alone like me of course it's all up to you, you don't, i don't have a maid or perhaps you don't have a maid as well so how do you do that how do you clean up so is it just throwing out in the dustbin that's not the way you know the coffee you know leftover coffee is a very good um, deodorant it takes up bad smell you know it's very very good and it's natural deodorant all you have to do is that just take out and instead of simply washing or you know uh, just throwing down the sink so take out and put that into uh, this kind of uh, you know a, a container so carefully a little bit of uh, uh, the liquid part is also fine you don't have too much worry because the, li the liquid will get evaporated so just store it into a container and then clean it just just like so once you clean just pour the water in it and then you know rinse it like that so that is the best option to clean the coffee i know it looks a bit gross but i know it it's just nothing but coffee so what i do that is that i put inside the fridge so all the bad smell of the fridge get absorbed so the moment you open it you won't get any smell if you do that or if your you know toilet is very bad smelling then you can place this in the corner of your toilet you know so unfortunately i don't have any smell issue in my toilet but in case any of you have it so this is a very good one the, the coffee beans actually absorbs all the stink in it and this is a instead of using you know the synthetic chemical uh, room freshener which is nothing but fake right so why to go with this kind of room freshener that actually gives you a nice smell but these are all not chemicals ultimately it's not doing any good for your health or any good for the environment so instead of that simply go with this coffee it's very good so as our espresso as well so once you open it you can see that this is our espresso so you have to use a nail and carefully take out the container so as you can see that the funnel with the coffee beans are here so I just have to press it so it's all done now so I have to clean up both this stuff usually that's it so I have to you know usually I keep this in the fridge as I told you but it depends on you if wherever the stink is in, in your room so it's a very good uh, deodorant so to clean it just pour the water uh, approximately 500 ml and then keep on doing like this a couple of times or four or five times more and then remove it and wash it as usual so this is the best option for uh, cleaning your um, coffee uh, utensils and then just dry it in a nice drying rack yet another upgrade that i did in my uh, kitchen is this so this is nothing but the shoe rack so the shoe rack i converted that into the dry rack for my uh, you know for my um, the kitchen utensils after cleaning i just put it here so as you can see even this the verka dahi you know the plastic bottle i'm reusing it instead of simply trashing it in the bin so i will show you in one another video what i'm going to do with this this kind of uh, uh, you know the containers in my kitchen and i can also show you this kind of uh, uh, roll through plastic thing this also saves a ton of space as you can see a lot of things arranged quite nicely so this i can simply put it so as you can see this kind of uh, empty space otherwise it will simply go unused you can use it very efficiently with this sort of um, you know the plastic roll I can just roll it because it has got a castor wheel i just have to roll it like this and then put it back another interesting stuff is that this this is the kitchen towels which can dry rack as well as i can put something in between so as you can see this is very nice high quality steel oh, it 
it's really nice, heavenly. The one which I just had is called Brazilian Mocha. So this is brought by my friend uh, Shalini Arya. Thanks Shalini for this very nice coffee from Brazil. So while relishing this coffee, it's better to smell it as well, right? Just not just to drink it, take your time and smell the aroma of the coffee. It is really nice and it's really heavenly. As you can see, it's just plain uh, dark coffee without sugar or without milk. So enjoying such small pleasures in life is what it makes to, to live a contented and happy life. Rather than going for sugar and milk, you really don't need these kind of additives in your coffee. So I can also share you some interesting facts. So as you can see that where to buy good quality coffee. So as you know, the Cafe Coffee Day is a good uh, chain, but unfortunately it's now closing down. And in addition, the Cafe Coffee Day is too expensive. Just one cup of coffee. This, this kind of coffee is called uh, Americano. You have to shell out around 200 rupees for just one cup of coffee. So as you see, it's way too, too expensive. The same amount you would have to pay in any coffee chains like Barista or Starbucks is a little bit more expensive than why, why, why not? Uh, you know, brew your own coffee. So the only option if you want to buy online is that Cafe Coffee Day is still active in online, but I don't know when it's going to close down, but they do not sell the beans, you know, like this. So what they sell is already ground coffee powder so that is of course there's an original coffee powder it's not instant coffee if you want to take just one message from this video is that never go with instant coffee because it's nothing but synthetic chemicals you know coffee flavor identical chemicals which is not at all good not at all good for your health as well so why to take a risk just trust the pure coffee beans so where do you get these coffee beans then the only option as per my understanding is that if you want to buy through online because I live in a small town called Bakenda in Punjab. We don't get this kind of beans anywhere in the, the local shop. So I have only one option left, which is online shopping. So in Amazon, you get one brand called Blue Tokke beans. So it is, of course, there is one option for you. But what is the catch in that beans? It is way too, too expensive. The markup is way too high. Just 300 grams will cost you around 800 rupees. 300 grams for 800 rupees? Are you mad to buy that? It is not at all a good option. So, for example, this one is uh, Chibo family coffee, which I got it from Hungary in my last trip. This is from uh, Budapest, and it cost me just 8 euros. You know, 8 euros is something like 700 rupees. This is for 1 kilogram. 1 kilogram for 700 rupees is kind of better than paying you know 800 rupees for just 300 grams so i will never recommend to go with this blue toke uh, coffee option instead the best option is that whenever you go to kerala or karnataka go to coffee you know the uh, the coffee retailers and ask them do they have any uh, you know the green coffee beans so if you have the green coffee beans you can roast it uh, you can air dry it, I mean sun dry it first and then roast it onto the normal, you know, how you roast peanuts for example, just like, like that, there is no difference at all, but roast it uh, less quantity at one time, instead of roasting all at one go. And then you can do the two methods which you like. So both the methods are equally efficient and there are multiple other methods as well, pour over is another method or uh, another interesting method which I like is called uh, AeroPress. But AeroPress is, an, you know, you, it's not that easy for the beginners. So for the beginners, the best two methods are either Italian style stout top espresso, which is very little bit only, but it's very high strong. Or the French press. The French press will give you the classic Americano coffee or the French coffee or cafe, you know, the German as well as the Swedish and Norwegian and Danish say cafe. So there's just simple coffee. That is what the, the, the black coffee is. So that's the gist of it. So if just I just want to remind you just one more thing that the take home message of this video is that don't go with brew or Nescafe that instant coffee which is nothing but concoction of synthetic chemicals instead go with pure coffee. Thanks for watching.